What originally inspired me was a documentary called Collapse by a filmmaker um, called Chris Smith. And it was about peak oil theory. And it was told by a very, very paranoid man who saw industrial society coming to an end. And it's a very, very, very convincing documentary. Um, and I was very interested in that character and I was very interested in how I would react in the circumstances where uh, things begin to fall apart. Not as some sort of science fiction event, not something silly, but just a natural facet of civilizations is to rise and fall. How would I be on the downslope? And that's where the kind of character of the survivalist came from. And I kept thinking about the moral decisions that characters would make in that world. Martin McCann's an extraordinary actor. I'm tremendously fortunate uh, that uh, Hollywood has him cottoned on and um, has him leading the Avengers movies because he's, uh, he's brilliant. And um, he brings such charisma and star power uh, to the role. And he puts so much of ins insides in what he's doing. Uh, it makes it very compelling to watch. We have two actresses in the film who are tremendous and from very different backgrounds. There's Mia Goff, um, who plays the daughter in the film. And she's incredibly powerful and low-key and brave in her decisions in the movie. And this is, I think, um, uh, perhaps her, her first real leading role in a film. And she's brilliant. Her mother is played by Alwyn Fuere, who is an Irish-French actress um, who looks extraordinary with very sh striking white long hair. Um, she's one of Ireland's leading theatre actresses. I had no idea uh, what she had done before I auditioned her and um, she was fantastic and her chemistry was really, really very interesting. And um, watching the three actors together, uh, the women alongside Martin, um, is fascinating because of the alchemy they had. They all have very different approaches to acting, but because they all believe in the truth of the scene, um, it really comes together and you really feel these are three different people, not just three performers. You feel like you're there with them. Well, there are kind of you know, two really favourite parts in it. One is working with my actors who are just brilliant and they so lead the film and tell the story. Uh, but the other was in post-production working on the sound because uh, we actually completely re-recorded the sound and, and had Foley artists recreate every creek um, in the cabin. Um, you know, we recorded all new wind tracks. Um, everything was built up from scratch. And we created this very, very, very realistic but heightened um, sense of a forest. And the way I like to look at it is if James Cameron has 3D and CGI with Avatar, what we have is sound. We have this tremendous sense of a world beyond the picture. It makes it a very, very cinematic experience. And that was an absolute pleasure because there is no budgetary limit with sound. You can create something that really stands toe to toe with um, you know, you know, the biggest Hollywood production. I make films for an audience. When I'm on set, I'm the audience's representative. I'm sitting in a cinema a year down the line, watching what everyone is doing, and it works for me or it doesn't. And so that's my job on set, is to be the audience's representative. Um, and I think uh, critics uh, are very, very useful for getting um, a, a way for audiences to recognize if something's good. Um, but sometimes you can make a film which doesn't resonate with critics but resonates with audiences. What this film is for is someone who wants to see something thrilling and different. And they want to be challenged. They don't want to just watch some big franchise fair. They want something that will, will take them on a journey and a ride. Um, and I very much had that in mind. My ideal scenario was somebody walks into the cinema without knowing anything about it. And they have this very sensorial experience. That's my ideal.